Hi, everybody. Okay, I am going to quickly go through this presentation with you. We are going to talk about bilateral and radial symmetry. Bilateral symmetry, a shape has bilateral symmetry when it is the same on both sides if there is a line that is drawn right down the middle of the object or the shape. We see bilateral symmetry a lot in nature, like in this crab. If we drew a line right here, it would be the same on both sides. Here is another example of bilateral symmetry. If we drew a line going straight down this tiger's face, we would see that it has bilateral symmetry. It's the same on both sides, and the same with this bat. Radial symmetry is when parts of an object are regularly arranged like a pattern and they radiate from a central point. This is a kiwi fruit cut in half. Here's the center point and you'll notice the radial symmetry. There is a regular arrangement that goes from the center of the fruit. It's the same going all the way around this center point. Radial symmetry is also seen in aloe plants. Look at the regular arrangement of leaves all coming from the center point. And flowers have radial symmetry. There's the center point and there's the repeated arrangement, the pattern that goes around in a circle. I'm going to insert this video right here. You're going to watch it. And these are the directions for your choice and exploration today. You're going to click on this picture and it will open up a website called Weave Silk. This is a program that you can use to create radial symmetry. You can just click your mouse on the screen and start drawing, click and drag, and you'll notice some controls up here. You can change the colors. You can change the colors. You can change the rotational symmetry, the number of points that it will radiate from the center. There's our center, and there's the regular arrangement going on. Now you're gonna create a piece of radial art from this program. Then you're going to click Save Picture. You are going to right click and hit Copy Image, or you can save it to your computer. I'm going to just copy it and then I'm going to insert it. Here we go. This is my choice and exploration student work slide. I'm going to right click here, paste. Oop, I need to use my quick commands. Control V. And there's my picture. I can make it bigger by clicking the corner and dragging it out. I'm going to click here delete that and I'm going to type my name, Miss Manning. And that is how I'm going to complete my assignment. Make sure you follow the directions and submit your work. Have fun!